So I am really excited because I just got done with another collab with Skipper Megan. We got to talk mechanical breakdowns and silly guests and all sorts of stuff. So much that it's broken up into two parts. So here's part one, mechanical breakdowns and the unexpected while working on Jungle Cruise. All right, so I am excited. I've got Skipper Megan back with me. Uh, we're doing a couple of different episodes uh, and looking forward to talking about some of the unexpected and unusual at the Jungle Cruise. Everybody's always interested in what happens when things break down and what kind of breakdowns and do the boats sink and, and stuff like that. <laughs> so would love to get some stories here. Um, and I don't know, if we could start big. What's some of the craziest, unexpected things that happened? Okay. Um, so Jungle is old. And <laughs> it's uh, it breaks down kind of frequently. And most of them are not super exciting. Most of the time, it's literally a leaf or a palm frond or something gets sucked into the underside of the boat. And that derails us. Uh, so it doesn't take much. But we did have a couple of pretty intense breakdowns uh we had an entire tree fall just behind one of the boats one time oh uh, so that wasn't an actual mechanical breakdown it was just the river was shut down we had an actual yep. traffic jam a log jam if you will and it was i mean it was just a bad storm but it wasn't thundering or lightning or anything so we were still operational and one of my friends was driving her boat and she was talking and facing the back and then she watched a tree fall right behind oh, her my. boat she was like let me radio in. And so she calls the doc and says, like, you need that's to stop not, sending us. Yeah, that's not part of the script. <laughs> yeah. I, I, she's like, I didn't even know what to say. We just coasted through the Congo because I. what do you say when a whole freaking tree falls in the river? Yeah. So that was a pretty intense shutdown. Um, it took several hours to get that cleared up because they had to come out with chainsaws and we had to back the people out of the river that were already on there. It was a whole time. So do the boats have a good reverse gear? Yes, they, they okay. reverse pretty pretty well. Um, you would think that it would be a little bit more clunky, but yeah, they they pretty much just go forward and backward and they, they do them both about as about as well. Um, you know, okay. you know, they don't go real fast forward, so they don't go real fast backwards okay. either. But yeah, because you, you think you, about it, they're not supposed to go backwards, so you know, do they? But yeah. Um, yeah. Takes a minute to stop it though, but I guess that'd be how they would is that how they pull them into the maintenance bay mm -hmm. too? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You, you pull around to the dock and then you back her up, do a little three point turn with the boat. That's at the end of the ride. Um, I'm sure people have noticed it, but at the end of the ride, when you're waiting to go into the dock off to the right is where the maintenance is. So if you see boats backing up, it's because that's where they're going. They're going back there to either go to sleep or get fixed up. But yeah. Um, and it, that's also how, if you get, uh, if you die on the river, that's another big thing that happens. Boats just die. They just do. And there's not always a reason for it, but sometimes they just stop moving. I've mentioned before how how old Bertha died on me and old, old Womakandi Bertha. So mm. then they have to back a boat up, tie you up and lasso you and drag you in that way. So, and depending on where you are in the river, it's it's really awkward. If you die early in the cruise and they have to back 10 minutes up to get you, it's really awkward. Oh, there's only so much you can say to people who don't know you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be. Oh, let's see, ten minutes back up plus ten minutes. That's a yeah, long. Plus you have to time. wait for everyone that's in front of you to clear out. So oh, you're waiting yeah. for that entire, you know, so, seven eight minutes for everyone to get back to the dock. Then the last person backs up to get you. Then you get dragged through. 30 minute jungle cruise ride. If you if you're on a boat that dies, you want it to be in like the Indian elephant bathing pool. That's where you want. Please die there because if you if you're in the Congo, it's we're best friends at the end of that. Y'all mm -hmm. are coming to Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like and you only have so much material and uh, yeah, if you're not good at ad libbing, <laughs> you, then you're just standing there going. So, um, y'all see any good movies lately? <laughs> what, what, 
<laughs> what rides have y'all been on? Like, it's, Who's it's your favorite bad. character? Yeah. Oh. And if there's kids, that helps. But sometimes mm-hmm. you get a boat that's like all adults who are, you know, it's 900 degrees. They have had it. They're just like. <laughs> you're, and you're like, oh, okay. But you can usually get the kids to like interact and do some the, stuff. So I'm just imagining the summer days at Silver Dollar City on the train when it was super hot. And uh, we would do what we called Hot 20s. And basically, it's a short show. Stop them, rob them, get them out of here because they don't want to be sitting in the sun. <laughs> and I bet your costumes were so hot. It, as a conductor, yes, because, uh, you know, it was layers of black. Right. Uh, on real hot days, we could ditch the vest and we put on, uh, we'd roll the sleeves up. So it wasn't yeah. so bad. The robbers, we were supposed to wear bibs with shirts. We'd mm-hmm. unstrap the bibs. We'd shred the shirts. Yeah, uh, so it wasn't quite so bad, but the robbers weren't as bad. Yeah, but the conducting, oh yeah, it could be hot, especially with that thing on, because um, yeah, oh, the God. Disney hats are all vented. Yeah, you know, so oh, are got, they? Oh yeah, they look nice, but if you look at the tops of all the Disney hats, they're all this mesh. <laughs> That's solid. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I would. We actually would have a sprinkler outside the station. Sometimes I'd fill it with water and just don't. Care. <laughs> you do what you got to do. Yeah, I never actually wore my Jungle Cruise hat. I I suppose it was vented, but I never actually put it on my head except for when I first started. I took a picture wearing it, but I never wore it with the costume. We had for photo pass. We had these floppy canvas hats. I almost never wore it. Like yeah. my head's big and fat enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a very large head, like circumferentially, it's very large. So the jungle yep. cruise hat didn't fit real great. We just had to have it with us. So that's why most of the skippers wore it like a little crossbody bag, and we had the hat taco, which you know just flattens against your back. And we would we would all have our jungle tacos, is what we called them. <laughs> as long as we had it on our person, it was fine. A store of a handkerchief or something in there. And... Yeah, just stick your, your wet wipes in there so you can <laughs> in between boats. So you mentioned the boats dying. And see, every time I hear you talk about boats dying, I think about the story that David Koenig tells in uh, Mouse Tales when one of the skippers. I seen it. Oh, gosh. No, you got to read his books. Okay. They're hysterical. But okay. one of the skippers, the boat had died over uh, by uh, the falls, you know, where the oh, boats no. passed each other. Yeah. And so the boat's dead. He's raided in, but there's still a boat coming up behind him. So he's got all the guests and him laying in the boat. <laughs> yes. So that's what I picture when I hear about the boats dying. Is everybody posing as yeah. if they're dead. <laughs> oh, if you were on the very, if that was your first experience with the Jungle Cruise and you'd come back through past the falls and you see that, like, <laughs> you never have a better Jungle Cruise experience than that. And I love that he had a boat that played with him, like yes. he was willing to to go with it. That's great. You probably got other stories with crazy stuff like that. Yeah, uh, we did actually have a cast member who he got terminated for doing something similar. He was on a boat by himself, and he he kind of acted like he was dead, but he did it on the front of the boat, like he got it going straight, and then he crawled out onto the front at night, and he wasn't actually controlling the boat, so. When oh. someone saw it, they had to ride him out because I actually it might have been a ma- managers come through and ride boats periodically mm-hmm. and like check up to make sure that you're doing your thing. So there may have been one on the boat that saw him go by. I don't remember what the exact situation was, but he uh, he got terminated from from Jungle Cruise for for having a little too much fun. A little too with much a, with a dead boat, but. <laughs> It's it's like there's ways you can get away with it, but that'd be yeah. That's you got to have control of the boat, dude. That's that's yeah. your only job. <laughs> Had one job and yeah. Oh, but aside goodness. from weather, the thing that that took us down more than anything else was uh, animals malfunctioning because mm-hmm. our animals are they're real because you can see them, but they are powered by animatronic fluids and so they would have malfunctions periodically and some of them you kind of needed to be operational for the ride if the african elephant when you come past the there's a plant here that i keep attacking the when you come past your your camp and the gorillas 
have attacked your camp and you turn to go into Africa, you have an, a moment where the, the skipper is usually going to tell the elephant to speak. That's part of the cruise. And our elephants are very well trained, but sometimes if they're malfunctioning and they don't feel like speaking, it's really awkward because then your entire spiel, it, like it depends on that one thing, that one gimmick happening. And if it doesn't, then you're like, all right, we're still working on that one. Like you just have to figure it out. But I mentioned actually in my video that I posted this past week, we had a hyena just keel over one time. So we just like, sometimes the animatronics just like, yeah. come uprooted and they they fall over and that doesn't look great if you've got you know hyenas just laying around if the giraffe yeah. like suddenly is like leaning a little bit gotta go and fix those did kinds you, of things did you see the one uh a year or two ago from uh the mexico cruise where i think it was jose was just, just flat faced at <laughs> just I'm like all blessed and, and as a cast member, like, that's just funny to me. That's not going to, like, ruin my vacation, obviously. Yep. I just think it's funny. And I'm like, oh, these, these poor cast members. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's hysterical when we would see things like that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, of course, Rhino Rally, we'd have real animals. So you never quite knew what they were yeah. going to do. So I, I learned that, uh, being slightly disgusting, scimitar horned oryxes, the way that the males figure out if the women or the females are in heat because they drink their urine. Oh. <laughs> While you know you here you are going by a Land Rover and um yeah that's a <sighs> welcome that's a to nature folks. <laughs> I mean, just... It's just educational. Yeah. Um, learn something new. But I didn't know that. Now I'll now I'll remember. I had no idea until the first time I saw it and I was going I I don't know. And yeah. That would be a I'm not speechless very often, but that would be one. I'd be like Yeah, that that was I one. I, 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 it, it's <laughs> I don't even I think I just kind of floored it and went, okay, let's go to the next thing and <laughs> Yeah, just move along. That's kind of what I did when we had ducks that were mating next to the boats. I'm like, we're just gonna over here. Look at that tree. Isn't it lovely? It's a great tree. So what is the strangest or one of the strange things that you saw that comes to mind? The strangest things that I saw. Stranger things. We're going to start thinking Netflix here. <laughs> Every time I say stranger things have happened, my husband goes, yeah, four seasons of it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, okay. So are you a stranger things fan? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. We're going to dragon con this year. Oh, which is man. in Atlanta. Have and the best time. The guy that we're going with actually lives right near one of the houses that they film at. Oh, man. So he's like, yeah, we'll take a half day. We'll go see all the Stranger Things sites. Oh, man. Please tell me you're vlogging it. I will see. The funny thing is I've only seen like three episodes of the show. Yeah. But my daughter's a big fan. So, yeah, we'll we'll vlog it. We'll have a little bit. That That's going to be a fun one. Okay. We're going to we're going to have to break the magic a little bit for this. one. Okay. We just we're gonna bend the magic. Yeah, um, it happens. Jungle cruise boats are not technically on a track, but they're also not completely free floating. Mm -hmm. We'll say that. So we had a boat, that, and this is a story I haven't I haven't told my channel. So they, they're Ooh, they're crazy. coming here. This is this is a completely new one. Um, we had a guy. It was late at night, and we were like I said earlier, taking one of the boats off the river because as the day goes on, you need fewer and fewer boats. So. This particular skipper was a really, really energetic guy. He was really verbose and he sometimes got distracted. So he was coming past where Trader Sam used to be. And usually you stop your boat at the end of the dock to make sure that, you know, the dog's back again, uh, <laughs> to make sure that there's, you know, you don't need to do anything like go into the loading bay. So he wasn't paying attention and they had flipped the switch that's under the water that guides the boat. And he didn't know that. So he plowed through it and broke it and got the boat Ooh. stuck. And it flipped backwards. When they tried to correct it, they flipped the, the switch again and again and again, trying to get him loose. And it flipped the boat backwards. The guests were now facing into the jungle past Trader Sam. 40 minutes 
they sat there that close to the dock and I was standing there the whole time. So I know that this isn't like a made up thing. I was standing there ready to unload this poor boat and they were just like 15 feet from the dock, but couldn't get there. (laughs) Get there. And we had to bring uh, Diver Dave. That was our maintenance guy. Legend has it. He was friends with Peter Pan when the park first opened. I don't know if that's true, but that was, that was, what we were told he was about my size. He was a very small guy um, and really friendly. So I, I believe that he could have been friends with Peter Pan, but he had to come and like go down and, and mess around under the boat and fix it and get these poor people unloaded. It was awful. It was, it was the absolute wildest worst thing that happened while I was there. For Turned sure. the whole boat around. Flipped the whole thing around. Wow. <laughs> so that's why when we say skip hold we need you to hold we need you to wait <laughs> yeah because otherwise you may just do a little 360 action and <laughs> a 180 i guess we just just spun her around and we didn't quite know what to do i i'm trying to imagine what he even says to the people on the boat at that point like he's one of those that he's such a personable guy that he was able to just keep talking. He didn't even need, he didn't need a script. He was one of those people who could just do it. He's been doing it. He'd been doing it for a million years. And he, I don't believe he actually like got reprimanded or got in trouble or anything for it. it he, they were just like, pay attention. Um, <laughs> Cause nothing got, verbal. yeah, nothing got irrevocable, you know, irreversibly damaged. It was, it was okay. Um, and then all of those guests did get like fast passes. They were, they were sorry yeah. for the inconvenience and yeah, yeah, that well, kind of thing. Care of the guests, but <laughs> yeah, they were all actually pretty, pretty good. The guests. There was no one who got off and was like, "This was ridiculous. I can't believe." There was no complaining. They were just like, "That was the wildest thing we've ever seen." <laughs> so we, we got really lucky that they were cool about it because it had the potential to be pretty catastrophic. I uh, Disney guests when stuff like that happens usually seem to be pretty good about it and hey we had an extra magical experience or right um i've i've had one evac on splash mountain and everybody was like this is so cool i get you to know. get out of the boat <laughs> yeah I, get out of the boat. I see the backs you know you get to see all the figures and um, yeah yeah silver dollar city they weren't that nice <laughs> oh really <laughs> not when we had to evac we had oh. one thing one time that the train stopped a little short of the station it, some of the cars were lined up they got off uh but yeah those others at the back were like <laughs> stuff happens oh, sorry <laughs> yeah fun times fun stuff oh yeah it's great <laughs> it's, no i i'm thinking the closest thing i had to anything like that really um, i did have the one time on a rhino rally where i hit the rock Oh no! Because um, okay. they're free, they're regular they're, land rovers. They're completely yeah. free driving, and I come over the bridge by the elephants, and you had to make a wider right turn, and I didn't cut it enough, and I hit the big cement rock. And as big as those things are, you can't see how damaged it is. There's no way to look down there without getting out. Right, you can't get out with wild animals and yeah. stuff. So. Uh, can I get somebody to come take a look at my Land Rover and see if I can still drive? Um, yeah, and then of course that was right at the beginning, and you've got to do the whole rest of oh, the fifteen no. minute ride with these people after you sat there for ten minutes waiting to get cleared. And yeah, you're not funny anymore at that point. <laughs> no, no. And if it was me, I know that they'd be like, "All right, so she already has wrecked the car, and now she's going to keep going. Can we get out?" Do yeah. we have to do this? Yep. Yeah, they were just, and I'm like, I, I'm sorry, folks. I'll try and do it the regular way. And you just, you look in the mirror and you see everybody going. Oh, oh I hated that. Oh, <sighs> when I would be looking them back and I just see. Yeah. Stop like, that. Thanks what for your vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and when people, the lady who was like, do we have to listen to you talk? Really? And I was like, yes. You Sorry. can you can walk back. <laughs> like, um, I'm trying really hard to hide this accent, guys. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is I've worked yes the great, which that'll lead us to our next video. So if you're enjoying this, 
you got to come check the next one. We're going to talk about our uh, lovely guest stories. <laughs> so thank you so much, Skipper. This this is so much fun. I love getting together with you. Oh, yeah. So, you're always so much fun. I'm happy somebody thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> so, But uh, be sure to check out Skipper Megan's channel. She's got some awesome stuff. Check out her Instagram. Uh, I was just telling her before we started that my daughter was looking at some of her cosplays and looking at the tattoo on her leg. She's got the Okay, I know that sounds weird, but it's cool looking. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go check your channel out, uh, and thank you so much. Thanks. Thank I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Be sure to share them in the comments below. Or you can contact me. There's information in the description that has my email address, fan pages, information about merchandise, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you haven't already, hit the button right up there to subscribe. And in fact, if you did enjoy this, I've even got another video for you right here. And also about these wonderful people here, those are my YouTube members and my patrons, the ones whose financial support makes this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that and the perks that come with it, well, be sure to check the description. There's a link right down there. Thank you so incredibly much. God bless.